In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at some uh, tricks or sp specific suggested methods for dealing with indeterminate forms of limits. Um, so I've broken these down into basically three different scenarios here. If we have a limit where we, an indeterminate form of our limit where we get zero over zero or infinity over infinity, all right, the most effective method um, for determining your limit would be to use L'Hopital's rule. So we'll write down, use L'Hopital's rule. All right, if we encounter a zero times infinity or an infinity minus infinity, all right, either of these forms, basically we've got a two-step process here. Our first process, we're going to want to convert to either a zero over zero or your infinity over infinity. So you'll manipulate your function to convert it to one of those two forms. And then our step two then would be to use L'Hopital's rule. So that takes care of those scenarios. Now, on these last three categories, we've got a zero raised to a zero as an indeterminate form, or infinity raised to zero, or one raised to infinity. So with any of these forms, all right, basically there is a, the best known way is to do three steps here. For our first step, we're going to take the natural log of the term. All right, or um, rewrite the term in exponential form. All right, and then I'll uh, we'll go into that in a little bit more detail in a minute. All right, then you're going to convert again to either zero over zero or infinity over infinity. All right, and then step three, use L'Hopital's rule. Okay, so now let's take a look at here, rewrite the exponential, uh, rewrite the term in exponential form. Okay, so what I'm referring to there, let's suppose, see if I can squeeze it on right here, let's suppose I had um, y equals um, a function, say f of x, and then that was raised to another function, g of x. Okay, so we're going to want to convert that to... Um, taking the log of both sides, so I could do the natural log of y equals, if I uh, bring that g of x down in front, then I would have g of x times the natural log of the f of x function. All right, or I could also do it um, in an exponential form, so I could have a y equals an e raised to the g of x times natural log of f of x. All right, and that's just doing some algebra and manipulation there by showing you taking the log of both sides with bringing that g of x um, function down in front, and then this would be going into exponential form, from here to here, exponential form, to get rid of those logs. All right, so just some really quick, easy tricks for how you can deal with these indeterminate forms of limits. And these are just suggested methods that work the best, usually, and are the most efficient. So definitely thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks.